Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Get Geometrics Engineering. In this channel, we shall learn and explore geometrics engineering related domain. If you are new in this channel, then please go through our videos and subscribe to support us. And most importantly, give your valuable feedback in comment section for more improvement. Now in this video, we will see various types of GNSS measurement techniques and data collection methods. So what is a code based measurement technique? In code based measurement technique, the PRN code is used to differentiate satellite signals and to provide signal timing information for range measurement. Code based measurement is an unambiguous so precision is limited in code based measurement. What type of co codes are used? Tha those are codes acquisition code and P code. Uh, and what happened in this code based measurement technique? Two identical codes are generated, one from the satellite and one from the receiver. Though both codes are similar, but they do not correlate until the replica code in the receiver is time shifted a little bit. Now let us see how this code correlation technique works. Now suppose this is the satellite codes acquisition code and what it does actually the receiver creates a replica of that course acquisition code and it tries to correlate with the satellite code and here the code correlation is works in this way like this is minus one this is minus one so this is plus one so like that way it is uh, su summed up and divided by 10 and it is find out that it is plus 0.4 that means the it is point and point 0.4 correlation means the codes are only 40 percent matching so the shifting goes on until it reaches plus one correlation what is 100 percent correlation so in the second case the receiver's replica reaches the plus one correlation that is 100 percent correlation now receiver calculate how much time it took to reach 100 percent correlation that time is used to calculate the distance from the satellite so if it calculates the time is t then this is multiplied with the velocity of light and this is the distance from the satellite now in this way the code based measurement techniques is work to calculate the distance from the satellite now let us see what is carrier based measurement technique in addition to the code measurement the receiver implements a tracking loop to measure the phase of the carrier signal so receiver compared self generated phase with received phase in addition to the code based measurement and it is an ambiguous technique so precision is better than the code based measurement using code based measurement we can easily calculate that r is equal to c into t and the carrier used for this carrier based measurement are l1 and l2 now let us see that how this code based measurement technique works this is the signal from satellite end and this is the replicate signal from receiver end now what is happened that the receiver tries to measure the ambiguity measurement now what is ambiguity ambiguity is the number of integer carrier phase cycle between the user and the satellite at the start of the tracking so here the satellite end is in zero degree phase but the receiver's replica is in 270 degree phase now the receiver will try to correlate with the satellite phase for that the receiver's signal has to shift the phase shift of three fourth of the wavelength and that is added with the c into t equation and now the new uh, distance of the satellite will become r equal to ct plus lambda n 
n is the number of integer uh, phase shifting that is happening and lambda is the phase so that is how the carrier based measurement technique works to calculate the distance from the satellite now let us see the various type of data collection method like point positioning now what is point positioning point positioning is the single or stand alone point positioning that means the uh, it refers to the ability to determine one's location using only the signals from core navigation satellite now how it works like suppose this is a triangle and this is x0 y0 and this is x1 y1 this is r so how can we calculate this r that is by this equation r square equal to x1 minus x0 whole square plus y1 minus y0 whole square so that i that is the way by which the satellite distance is calculated now uh, we have already calculated this r using the measurement techniques that is c t plus lambda n this is for the carrier based measurement and this is by the code based measurement technique and that is how the r is calculated now let us see in case of satellite what happens in a in an image so what equation i have uh, derived there that is used here that r equal to here in case of 2d positioning the 3d positioning is taken care of and i is from 1 to 4 because there are four satellite and the unknowns are four that is x0 y0 z0 and this delta delta is the clock timing error of the receiver so that's how using the stand alone positioning we can calculate the distance from the satellite and from that we can easily calculate the position of the receivers that is x0 y0 and z0 this is a single stand alone point positioning system in which only one receiver is used for the positioning now let us see the see what is precise point positioning precise point positioning the technique is same as stand alone uh, point positioning but post processing is done to get precise positioning let us see how it works like the gnss receivers calculate the position same as the stand alone point positioning system but after uh, taking the position it brings to the lab and the post processing is done using another global reference station and after that the particular position is calculated so this is more more precise because um, more than one receiver is using that, that's why it, it it's comes under point positioning but it's a kind of differential gnss technique also now let us move to the next slide now let us see another type of positioning method that is data collection method that is relative positioning what is relative positioning more than one receiver is used for positioning in any case that is the relative positioning so there are four types of relative positioning that is static rapid static stop and go and real time kinematics Uh, now what is static positioning this is the traditional technique and covering large areas that is baseline is greater than 20 km now what is baseline when more than one receiver is used for positioning then the distance between two receiver is called the baseline so here let us see what is the baseline from this is the base receiver and this is the another receiver what is used for the relative position so distance between these two is the baseline when the receiver is in r1 position then this is the baseline when the receiver is in r2 position then this is the baseline that's how the relative positioning works 
so the basic principle of static and rapid static is same but the baseline for static positioning is more than 20 km and for rapid static it is up to 20 km in static positioning the uh, accuracy is higher the areas where highest possible accuracy is required then the static positioning system is used and observation time required is really shorter and than the traditional static technique then the uh, rapid static is used in this case the baseline is up to 20 km so these are all the uh, all two types of relative positioning that is static and rapid static another two type of relative positioning are stop and go and real time kinematic the stop and go positioning is the first economical and ideal for open areas and used when many points close together have to be surveyed and the terrain poses no problems in terms of signal disruption like there are various errors in satellite communication so if there is no error th that is a open area and the points are close together then the stop and go method is used the, how it works it works like if this is the base station and another rover station is here in position 1 it stops here and again go to the position 2 and again communicates with the base stations and the satellites then again go to the third position that's how the whole thing works the base station is uh, in a position for long time and the rover station moves from one position to another position and the total survey is done now another type of positioning is real time kinematic now this is used to track trajectory of a moving object in rest of the three relative positioning the rover receiver stops and go or in a static position that it not moves but in kinematics uh, real time kinematics the rover receiver always moves and and the uh, base station always communicate with the rover station now how it works let us see this is the base station this is the base station and this is the rover receiver rover receiver doesn't stops it goes uh, and but the from the base station the transmission uh, is happened to the uh, rover receiver that's how the communication is done and the base station and the rover receiver always connected to the same satellites and that's how the real time kinematic works Th this is used for the continuous measurement like roadways drainage and it's it's also a kind of differential gnss system we we all we will see that differential gnss system in the upcoming videos